And that's the only time that we can do this because this technology comes up. So again, if there's a cow, a cow is part of a particular, has a particular owner, that person will take care of that cow. But with many, many animals, you actually have no owner. So actually exploiting these animals, taking part or taking them is actually not, you know, they're not getting replenished. And um, I could hit you with data, as I said, we all know it, like that there is 30% of the world ocean fisheries are collapsed, 30% are completely overfished, and uh, only another maybe 30, 40% are kind of at the maximum sustainable yield. But that number is getting smaller and smaller. Of course, we don't really care because it doesn't, it doesn't take part of us right now. It doesn't affect us that much. Every day, we're living in some kind of post-apocalyptic mindset, actually. It's all about how much money can I make and what is in for me. Somebody else will solve the problem. And I was in the same mindset until I realized more about cryptocurrencies, about blockchain and the power of smart contracts. And if I can do one thing today, then I would like to have you think about that for a minute. And, you know, I believe there's a lot of great opportunities in this technology going into the impact space. So what we do is an impact NFT. Okay? So that's different from a normal NFT because our NFTs have real-world utility. And uh, I want to show you how that works with Universe. Okay? So, what we are is a normal NFT project right now. We bring 3,333 unique rare animals as a smart contract um, to you. All of them are uniquely made NFTs of rare animals, each of them different. And you can think of any kind of rare animal that you maybe heard of, like a, a penguin or a marlin or some sharks. All these animals are part of our collection. And we took a long time to make this perfect collection of really the rare and most worthy of protecting animals. But what this project has been becoming or is becoming is also a marketplace for impact projects. Because impact projects, are there are thousands of them. There's a lot of national parks, there's a lot of soil, there's a lot of land that can be actually turned into very productive space. Like even if you look here, you will live here on the palm. People created this palm, but actually what you could do in the ocean, you could put a lot of structure in the ocean where actually the, the, the marine life could thrive by just putting certain structure inside the ocean. Or planting mangroves around the shores for more animals to live. And this is what I believe actually the real value of the future. So if you live in a world where you actually have living beings around you, our standard of living improves. Imagine yourself living in a concrete jungle versus a place where there is biodiversity, where there is, you know, things around you that live. You have a different energy. And I'm not saying this in a woo-woo way, but this is the fact. All these things are part of an ecosystem, and we are part of an ecosystem. That's why it's called universe. So, again, what we are, we are a normal NFT collection, an impact NFT collection. We are marketplace for impact projects, and we have an impact token. This is a quick view over some of these animals. That's how they look. So they look very realistic. They look, they are in, um, in, a, in a universe space, and they have attached certain kind of um, attributes that are actually related to the real animal skills. And a lot of these animal skills are very relevant for today's world to function. Call it a bee that pollinates flowers or, or call, it, um, call it an oyster that filters water in order to have clear water. All of this took a lot of research and we're working with some very smart people to attach and, and give these attributes to these animals. That's why um, it took us so long. People say, ah, in pay, an NFT collection is just about hype, about putting it out there as soon as possible. We went a bit of a different approach. So this, each of them is different. Each of them is created and have a unique, three unique attributes attached to them. Um, now, of course, you want to know what is the value, and we understand that the NFT needs to go up in price in order for people to be excited about it. And 
what is actually happening on our platform is that we pair impact projects with the NFT. And the impact projects are, are, are selected by the DAO. So if you have an NFT with us, you actually one vote, one, vo one vote on that DAO to find out if this is a good impact project. You vote for it and then it can get attached to an NFT. And once it's attached to an NFT, you receive our token and the impact project gets funded. So you can see it as a platform, a marketplace to fund impact projects. Um, this is a bit how it works. So you, you own an NFT, you're part of the, of the, voting, of the voting DAO, um, and you can own a few and uh, speculate on the price, or you can keep them to get residual income from that UNO token. Yeah. This is how we distribute the token. Um, we redistribute a lot of the funds to these impact projects, and this year we will fund 21 projects already, up to 3,033, of course, as the future develops, as, we, as we're moving along. So this year, 21 projects getting funded. And there's some very interesting projects in there too. Um, again, you can turn desert land into, into a, a biodiverse, rich place, or ocean into a biodiverse, rich place. And the question is, how do you actually monetize this? How do you actually get that? And I think that's really, and I'm, I'm very glad to address such a powerful group of people who know blockchain, who know that you can actually attach value um, to whatever you create. So here we are attaching value to these, these creations. Um, this is what actually affects the token price. So of course, if this NGO talks positive about, about us, if we make good content so that people get good reports about what this impact project is doing, we getting feedback um, and we getting ROI, not only in terms of, of, of voice or people talking about us, but actually because we're also owning part of these, pl of these places. Um, let's look, for example, um, this Eurasian links is linked to um, a European um, foundation called Rewilding Europe, and they take making sure that the links has space to live. They talk about us, they have a large following us, um, they, they actually bring us ROI because we do that. And if you're holder of that NFT, you get our token that you can turn into cash. We're doing something with an island in the Philippines where we have secured the entire um, ecosystem around the island. So we can do a lot of projects there. We will do part of our events there. Um, and we're turning this into an eco-resort. So as a member of the, uh, of the DAO, you will be part of those eco-resorts as well. Um, so we, what we're doing right now is we, the, the NFTs are, are, are valued at 0.6 ETH um, as the public mint, but we're doing pre-sale deals as well. So if you're interested, if you're an animal person, if you think that's something that is addressing you, please find me. We can, uh, we can talk about these things too. Um, this is a bit on how we est estimate the, uh, the token price going up and what is the average price. Again, this year we're only funding 21 projects, so only 21 uh, NFTs will actually receive our token directly, but you can also stake your NFT on the other projects. Um, we are also part of the Dubai Vision 2040. There's a lot of different small projects that actually Dubai is doing, including planting mangroves and doing bring a lot of greeneries to this place, which there's a large commitment to this. And we're doing consulting for, for, for these projects, and a lot of cities will follow the same path. Um, we have a lot of interesting and important backers as well. Um, our, uh, our chain is on Polygon. Polygon is also very, very committed to sustainability, actually, um, and we're very glad to be part of this um, amazing infrastructure. Um, again, the time is now. I don't want to talk to you too much about these things because I know the message doesn't get to our heart until we really feel it. But I believe that owning... 20 ETH or 100 ETH or 1,000 Bitcoins, whatever it is, is not as valuable as owning one of these NFTs. Um, and maybe if you have a lot of ETH in your pocket, you can actually turn one of these ETH into an, into an NFT and actually be happy. You can choose the animal. Um, of course, it's on the open market. Right now in the pre-sales, pre we can actually do something that you get some of the animals that you like, that you really stand for. Um, and I tell you only, the time is now, so please... Um, yeah, look at our website, join our Discord if you can. Uh, where is our slide? With the socials. Um, 
It's just universe.io. So it's unuverse.io. If you go on the website, you, uh, you can find us. Uh, we're just starting this. Um, here we go. We are starting to come out with this because, as I said, it took a lot of work. And I can assure you that all the work is done. And again, this is such a powerful group. So if just some of you have the idea of thinking of public goods in a different way, of thinking not only of how I can make more money, but also really how increase the standard of living for the future, I would be very happy. And I'm very happy to talk to you afterwards as well if you have any more questions. Thank you so much. <laughs>